Hello, my fellow crafters. I am here to just quickly show you another part of what I am doing for the superhero party. I hope you can hear me, um, and I hope you enjoyed my previous video. It was a little bit uh, different. I just wanted to share some something fun. It's a video of me opening up a box I received from family. <laughs> anyway, so. Um, to go with my superhero theme uh, for the party, I'm making the skyline. So I've just gathered different box sizes and I've covered them with black paper. And this paper is from Hobby Lobby and it's a roll. It's supposed to be bulletin board paper, but I mean it's sturdy enough. So I used the roll uh, to cover the... I mean the paper to cover these boxes so that I can make my buildings and this is a roll that you can get at Hobby Lobby it's about $10 it's a pretty big roll though so it's worth it and then I have my yellow paper that I'm going to cut to make the little windows um, I got this um, Astro Bright brand I believe at Walmart it comes with a hundred sheets of different color paper there's uh, orange pink uh, orange green yellow I believe it is pink and I forgot the other color so but it's it's worth it it's worth it anyway so I have my little guillotine here um, and I guess I have to make different size windows for the different size boxes because I have really really big boxes that are like taller than this and then I have these smaller ones which I plan on putting next to them or stacking on top to make a different dimension of the building but for these I am going to cut maybe in three in threes I'm not sure yet but Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens here. Let's see if I can get this on there. Okay. Can you see? I think you can. Okay. That's the thing. It's not me. <laughs> anyway, let's give it a shot. Let's do one page so I don't, in case I don't like the size, I'm not wasting all these. Um, I have to unlock it. Okay. So maybe I should put my glasses on because they cannot see. All right. So if we want to do it in thirds, I'm going to kind of mark where I'm going to where I'm going to want to cut. Now they don't have to be exact, but this helps me line it up in a more straight line here, um, so that I'm not cutting them crooked. Although I'm going to say paper is not exactly as straight as we think. Um, but for the most part, we don't want to do it too crooked, okay? So we'll do that. And then we'll do the second mark is right here. And so then we'll cut that. We'll line that up with the blade, with the metal part right here where I folded. And then I will cut. those would be just the right size but it just depends I don't know so let me cut those into smaller rectangles there can you see it's kind of dark it's late night and I'm gonna say probably I don't even know how how many inches this is maybe about an inch and a half or somewhere around there or I'll just randomly cut pieces okay so line that up slice that how many squares is that it's about three squares so we're gonna move up three squares one two three 
So they're all about the same size. Let's see, it's about the same size. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. It's super late at night, and this is when I work because this is when my kids are asleep and I can work. And you probably didn't hear a thing I said. One, two, three. Okay. Let's go one more time. One, oops, one, two, three. It's just three squares there. And could leave this one okay so let's look over here and let's see what it would look like if I left them at that size so I could place one there okay. the box is pretty square so I could probably put one two like this and just randomly put one here I could do that. Okay. So, I want to give you guys a final update when I have most of my crafted stuff up. And uh, that way you could see. Or maybe I should cut them into smaller squares. What if I do this size? I'm just jumping all over the place. Um, I want to give you guys an update when I have everything ready. Um, and done so you could see all the things that I've made I don't know should I make them smaller I should, probably should because this is a smaller box maybe I could cut these in half okay so what I'm going to use to stick them on there is this um, roll glue I don't even know what it's called it's just glue that you basically roll it and it sticks to it I didn't want to use any craft glue because I don't like when it creates lines that you can see through the paper and then it just kind of bulgy and it just I don't like it so I guess I don't know which one should I do this one or this one I think I'm going to do the half so let me cut one in half let's cut that and let's go ahead and Go ahead and glue that one. Let me open this up. And I forget always which way it goes, so I always yeah. So I put some on there. See, it just rolls. It's kind of it's it's from the Dollar Tree, so it's not going to be the best quality. I do have one from Walmart, but I couldn't find it. So then we could stick it on the box. Just randomly, like it doesn't have to be perfect because the skylines are basically not perfect. So there's one, and then let me do the other half that I cut. I'll put that one next to it. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Let's see. Probably can't see, but I'll work the best that I can. I mean, as long as it does the job right. I don't even know if these are straight. And I don't think it matters, but there's the second one. And so basically, I'm just going to stick random squares on here. And it'll create, start to create my skyline. Or my buildings, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do have probably about six or seven boxes that I wrapped and I'm going to paste these the same way all right that is it for this video I don't know why it was so long it's just something short and um, let me give you a quick view of my centerpieces that I've done um, there's Superman Isn't that cool spider-man Wonder Woman there's my uh, Captain America, Batgirl, Batman, my Supergirl over here. I have Wonder Woman up there. 
And my other two Wonder Women up here. I think that looked pretty neat. What do you think? Well, thank you for watching once again. And happy crafting. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, subscribe.